Hey, we got the vice president of Air here, David Cash. David Cash. In the house. Yes, sir. Take a little picture of David here. Special guest from LA, from Hartford, LA, Chris Leary, Learjet's in oh, the house. No, stop and we got Lee out of DC for Columbia. What's up? And we just want to say congratulations, 25 years. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, they always say the first time is the one you'll remember the most. Yeah. We promise she will. <laughs> Hi, it's Chris Davis from WNCI. Bobby, it's my first foe. Congratulations. Uh, I'm having a great time. Bobby, happy 25th, damn it. We mean that from the bottom of our heart, right? Absolutely, and don't forget it. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, we're going to sign this thing off right now. If, oh, there goes Bird Baumgartner. Uh, if you weren't at the Chaos Pool Party, this is the second annual at the Bobby Poe Convention. The 22nd Bobby Poe Convention. We had a great turnout. If you missed it, skip out of work early next year and get your butts here, will ya? We made it through it. You, your staff was fantastic. What, what happened and, and how did we make it through it? Well, first of all, we're thrilled to have the 22nd Annual Convention here um, and uh, happy to see all the familiar faces back. The uh, Virginia Power Company had a uh, outage in the whole area this morning, uh, shortly before 8.30. Nothing we could really do. Unfortunately, our generator went too. Right in the middle of breakfast time, one morning all the poke cats decide to eat breakfast a little earlier than usual. Just happens to be the time we have the power outage, but I think everybody handled it well. Knew we couldn't do anything. We got it back as soon as we uh, could, and uh, th that was the end of it. So we were back in, in time for the barbecue at the pool. All's well that ends well. We're looking for the, uh, forward to the rest of the convention being much more powerful. Thanks to Fred DeCipio for your uh, Lifetime Achievement Award for your contribution to the radio record industry from, get this, 1953, 1993, 40 years. So uh, the man is a legend. He's been around a long time. And Freddie DeCipio. From the doo-wop, Danny and the doorknobs, 1950s, to Bobby and the British haircuts of the 60s, to the psychedelic bananas of the 70s, Dolly and the disc makers of the late 70s, and to Dippy and the dance masters of the 80s, to the current batch of great new artists today, the beat goes on. I want to close with a thought from the unforgettable Matty Singer. If you buy a loaf of bread and you eat half of it, and you save one half for the next day, it gets stale, and nobody can eat it. So share it. There's enough for everybody. I'm here today, it's an honor to introduce uh, this year's keynote speaker, Daniel Glass's rapid rise to one of the top CEO spots in the record industry is symbolic of his ability, his determination, and motivation to succeed. He is a man of many accomplishments, with the finger on the pulse of the industry and a fuel tank that's constantly filled to the, uh, to the hill with energy and emotion. And in a business that has taken on a slightly more clinical persona, it's good to know that there are still a few executive spark plugs that can ignite an entire industry on raw emotion alone. Daniel is certainly in the top tier of this group. But what really drives Daniel Glass and is the essence of his relationships is his passion for people. Whether it's his immediate family, his lovely wife Deborah, his charming children, Sean and Maxie who are with him today, or his extended family, many of whom are in this room today, or organizations like LifeBeat, which Daniel co-founded, the T.J. Martell Foundation, the City of Hope, or the National Kidney Foundation, there's no doubting Daniel's commitment to causes and people and causes that affect people. So without further ado, will you please welcome one of the more accomplished record executives in the business, ERG CEO President Daniel Glass.